Alrighty. Today's goal is going to be um, mount the engine to the transmission. I have an adapter plate from Inline Pro. Hopefully this will go quick and easy. Uh, I do not have the flywheel and clutch yet. Um, that's another $1,600 investment piece that I need to get. I figured for all the mock-up stuff I'm doing, I don't necessarily need that right now. Plus it's gonna add a bunch of weight to uh, the engine and transmission made it together. It's gonna add a bunch of weight. So when I'm trying to go in and out a bunch, um, test fitting, I'd rather make it as light as possible. Hence why I also uh, stripped down the motor um, of a lot of its components, uh, the accessories, things like that. Uh, same with the transmission, I've taken off the shifter uh, to make sure it clears the tunnel. So uh, yeah, let's see how this the, uh, the adapter plate goes on. All right, well, uh, lucky for me, I didn't realize that uh, one of the engine uh, transmission bolts, uh, the threads look pretty well mangled. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get this on the camera here, but yeah, it's pretty well, uh, pretty well mangled in there. So that was a fun, unexpected thing. So I either wanted to figure out how to tap that out or, or something. Yeah, that really blows. All right. All right, uh, as you may have noticed, I still just went ahead and uh, put the adapter plate on. I am gonna to have to come back and visit why that hole is cross-threaded or whatever it was. Um, the, the place I got the engine from when they unbolted the transmission, I don't know what might have happened there. So I think we should be able to tap it out, um, re-thread it more or less. Um, also, if you guys are wondering why there's tapes all over tape all over the uh, adapter plate uh, with uh, E's or T's, it's basically engine side, transmission side. But what I wanted to do, which this was off camera, but um, I wanted to see if the engine had to be tilted at its angle and then the transmission straight or was the engine straight and the transmission straight. I wasn't sure the bolt locations on the adapter plate if the engine was going to continue to stay at its, you know, whatever, 10 degree angle or whatever it actually is, uh, and the transmission is straight. So it is that way. It is the angle of the tr the engine and the transmission straight. Um, that was kind of confusing. I'll say that probably a little clearer, more under easier to understand. So I've seen swaps where the engine is perfectly vertical along with the transmission is straight. So you gotta think of your shifter or your transmission and the engine perfectly straight. Um, K-series and front wheel drive cars typically are always sit at an angle, um, which you can see there how it has that slight, you know, angle to it. Um, it always has that little shoulder lean. But uh, what I was hoping for is actually having the engine straight and the transmission straight. So now, uh, if with this adapter plate it is slightly clocked so that the engine stays at its angle and the transmission 
is straight. Now, obviously, if I made the engine straight, that would take that shifter and turn it. So my shifter would be at a weird angle. So it's unfortunate because I was hoping that everything was going to be in line and vertical, but it is what it is. And uh, we're going to keep on moving on. I know some of you might say, hey, you might have not ran into that issue if you would have ran the um, ZF transmissions out of the BMWs. So on the adapter plate, I'm hoping that it will work for the E46 ZF transmission as well. Um, because it also says it works for the 350Z and the 370Z. Um, obviously it says K20, but it does work with the K24, um, which this is. So let's uh, put the two together and see what happens. All right, well, that went uh, somewhat successful. Uh, ran into a few problems with a bolt just being off just a hair. Um, <clears throat> either I can drill out a little bit and make the hole a little bit bigger, which might help. Um, I'm not too concerned. It might just be an alignment issue. Like I said, um, the transmission uh, has to be flat and the engine is at a tilt. But as I'm lifting the engine, technically the engine's straight, so now the transmission has got to be tilted towards me. So um, yeah, more or less that's it. I need to get jack stands. Um, currently I have some very uh, interesting way of holding up the car, which I need to change that out for jack stands yeah. and with the transmission and start seeing what kind of um, hacking away I have to do at the firewall, if any. I still have to do a lot of grinding and cutting of these old motor mounts. Got the cross member out. Still have to make my modifications here, trying to figure out what I really want to do. I gotta make our cuts on the cross member. Now I'm starting to even think, remove the whole section piece. Uh, I'm sorry, remove the whole center piece and redesign it with a square tubing underneath because that'll also even give me more clearance for the engine to come further forward. But I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but I mean, as of right now, that looks pretty dang cool right there uh, with the motor and tranny attached. So, yeah, considering trying to put it in there, but uh, like I said earlier, uh, that wood holding it up with those PVC pipes are going to be in the way, but that's it suspended. I might take off this balance weight off the side, but or lower it down and just see what, how it sits. Oh no. If they're, oh yeah, they're on the same plane, that's good. I was worried that maybe the transmission was going to hang lower than the oil pan, which uh, it's not looking that way. It's looking, looking pretty good here, so nothing too crazy. That's awesome. Let's put it on the ground and see what it looks like. All right, I think um, this is a better angle to understand what I was talking about earlier if you didn't get it <coughs> about the angle. So now the engine's at a, this is basically flat. So the transmission's now flat, but the angle is at an askewed angle. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. And as you can tell, there's the uh, casting mark CDO hashtag two. So I think that's going to work out pretty pretty well. Adapter plate worked out pretty well today. I just need to get those jack stands, and we can actually try to put this in and see what modifications we have to do in there to get it mounted but it's definitely coming along I need to get the uh, water pump delete plate uh, the coolant tube in the back and on the side I got to figure out the intake but um, yeah so I've done a couple videos already of my progress of working on this but I'm not done with the editing yet, still trying to figure that out. I had an SD card issue where I did lose some content, not totally stoked about that. Um, 
so I'm not sure if this is going to be the first introduction video or if this is going to be broken into a few different videos. I'm sure I'm going to cut and splice this a lot. Um, areas where I've either misspoke or something like that. So, yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. I'm just rambling at this point. Trying to see if the microphone is also better. Um, yep. But thanks for uh, tuning in and seeing and checking out the uh, MG Progress.